Well, it's finally here. After such a long, long wait, probably what, like 10 years, I think, in between games, we finally have Dead Island 2. This game has seen so much chaos in its development cycle. It was passed around between different studios until Deep Silver finally was able to find a studio that was able to craft their game. I'm sure most of you may not even remember what Dead Island even is at this point. Dead Island as a series has always been a fun, action-packed zombie adventure game where the entire goal is to just basically be creative in how you kill zombies. There is a minor story to it usually, but that's never usually the focus to the game. The focus is just crafting your own adventure through the world and picking up new weapons, trying out new abilities, and just having fun slaying zombies. The first game did it pretty well, but had some clunky issues with it, and those developers actually split off and ended up making Dying Light 2, which was also a huge zombie game, which was a huge success, and Deep Silver has been looking for a new developer to make Dead Island 2 for like 10 years, and they finally found it. With Dam Buster Studio at the reins of this game, I do believe this game has the potential to be just another fun, cooperative zombie killing game with you and your friends. It also has potential to be amazing solo, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. If you guys do enjoy, if you guys are new here, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's go ahead and jump into this freaking game. All right, so here we are. We are in game. I went ahead and I skipped all the cutscenes. I went ahead and I just skipped right into the game so we could avoid any spoilers for the story for you guys. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Oh, this game is gruesome. Fair warning, this game is not for the weak of heart. Uh, it's not going to be like a horror game exactly, but it's not going to shy away from gore and blood and intestines and stuff like that. So it's not going to be a horror game, but it is not going to be for the faint of heart. As you can see here, again, it is covered in blood and guts, and there's tons of dead bodies and people hanging by cord things, and it. and it's, uh, it is so gruesome and gory. What an intro! What's all this? What are we doing? Are we- Oh, we're putting alcohol in the wound? Oof. That is not a pain- That is- Oh, that is not a pleasant experience. At least we know how to use the med kit. There we go. Alright, yeah, time to go. Let's go. We're- Oh man, so yeah, again, this game, uh, I don't know how much of this is actually going to get demonetized from YouTube or if any of it will, um, because it's not real, but it is very gruesome, and that's just the intro of it. That's just the intro. Wow. Look at this, man. Look at this. Holy crap, this, this view is gorgeous. Unbelievably pretty. This view is incredible right here. The sky is so pretty, the clouds, the embers, the fire, the smoke and everything, the detail in all of the little tiny nooks and crannies, the shading and everything. Wow, this game is gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. Holy crap. Lighting is on point. Hey, hello? Ooh, kind of spooky. People, the fuck? uh, scorched? Was that like an ash S person? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got our first weapon here. Wreckage machete. Look at this, though. That's incredible. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. And again, the view is just the sky. Oh my god, the colors of everything. This might be useful. I'm a so, it looks like you can loot a bunch of stuff. We already found our first little lootable there. And it wasn't even like a big lootable, but... You can loot a bunch of stuff like the last game. Ooh, X to turn on flashlight. We can do that. We can do that for sure. I'm actually going to play with my controller here. So, <laughs> kick with the right thumbstick. I'm actually going to play with my controller. It feels a little bit more natural for me. 
and uh, I just want to kind of chill and play this game a little bit in the opening here. And, uh, oh, God, I didn't even see that. Oh, my God, I didn't even see that. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and a little glimpse of the gore and stuff that you can have in the game that is... It does not shy away from. It really doesn't like to hide the gore from you. That's what this game is all about. Holy crap. Fuck. Enough of this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yep. Go around the fire. Go around the beautiful flames. Skirt the fire. Let's go around here. Yep. I don't think I can sprint yet. Oh, now I can. Okay, now I can sprint. Yeah. This game is gorgeous, man. And slide. Look at this. Look at all of this. Wow. <laughs> this is just like, this is so pretty. Ooh. There. Will you stop firing those bloody flags? Ooh, people. What? Stop firing those flags. We've only got a few left. We should save them. Oh, for God's sake. Michael, take that flag on. Uh, what was that? Uh-oh. Something in the plane. Uh-oh. I think they heard me. I think they heard me. Oh, gosh. Who are you? Who be you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're good! You guys okay? Uh, just a few bruises. Whoa, lots of survivors. Lucky. I, I, I'm Michael. Carla. Oh, this is fucking tremendous! Oh, she's not having a good day. Her shoes are ruined. Sorry about Robert. Why? I mean, this is all his fault, the selfish wanker. Yeah, Robert. How could you? Standing there and find me some fucking shoes. Oh, I don't like her. You got blood coming out of your ears. What? I can't hear you. Oh no. I got blood coming out of my ears. <laughs> I mean, what are we going to do? Uh, get moving. People, this is Emma Jaunt. Wait, uh, really? Of course you know what a huge star she is, Romero winner no less. We need to get her home to safety. Okay. Hi, what is that? It's a zombie. Or maybe someone who's... Easy. Maybe? Is it a zombie? It's not a zombie. Hey. My, my wife. Oh no, is she crushed? Is she dead? Oh no, she she's super dead. Yeah. I got a pulse. Make it. Wait. Got to move her. This off me. She's they're both alive? Let's go. Teamwork. Michael help. And lift. Ooh. That is going to be heavy. Uh, it's too heavy. Yeah, too heavy. I think they're getting closer. We need to go. Seriously? You're giving up already? I mean, perhaps we should stay. Darling, the world needs you. They'll protect you. <laughs> the world needs you. In a zombie apocalypse, we need more actresses. Okay, Michael, if you're sure. Here is my address in case you change your mind. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, see you later. I'll call the army. Send help. Go. Wow. Hey, are you Emma Trant? <laughs> Rich people, man. Well, I'm pretty sure these two are about to die. Because, uh, survivor. that is too heavy to, to save. Although, maybe she's going to live. I don't know. Hey, over here, dude. Ooh, but no, he, oh. you're, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The detail on the zombies is immaculate, though. I got to love it. Oh, kick. Right, I can kick. Yeah, kick. Kick him. Oh my gosh! Look at the... Look at the bones! Coming out of his torso! Oh my gosh! Can I just... Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh my gosh! Again, I don't know how much of this I can actually show. Uh, because of the YouTube monetization, but I might try, I might just YOLO it and try to do it uncensored so you guys can really see the gore of this game. Oh no. Back up, lady. Back up. Six feet. 
This is COVID time, or actual well, COVID-ish time. Yeah. You dang it up on me, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Big old sledgehammer. Back up. Back it up. Blah. Blah. Oh, you're still. Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. Ooh. Oh man. Again, this game is probably one of the most gory I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, they do not shy away from showing you blood and guts and entrails and brain matter and and loose jaws and everything. They don't shy away from any of that stuff. None of it. Oh. Black. Uh, what do I do? I'll take this real quick. Um, let me save my heavy thing. Let me, let me grab, like, a rebar thing and use this instead. Because I want to save the heavy hitter for... Ooh, wow, look at the lighting on her hair. Oh, and just, again, every hit, you can see more and more of their... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can see more and more of their stuff. If I can knock that burning wheel down, oh, hey. fry them all. Look at that. And... Kaboom, look at that. That was cool, man. That was super cool. Collect all the stuff we can. Rush. Okay. Gotta get are you guys dead now? You guys are... Angelina? Joshua, your your Joshua is alive still, I guess. Angelina might still be. Okay, might still be alive. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with them. Let's see if we can help them. Back on the road soon, Carla. You got this. Hey, uh, shit, uh, man! Oh God, how the fuck did this happen? It's not meant to be like this. It's okay. Uh, I got you. Yeah, we got you. Here. You're probably not gonna make it. She might though, cause she's not trapped. Hey, can you hear me? Are you a zombie? You're all right. I'm gonna give you some water, okay? Oh, she's a zombie! I knew it. Oh no! Oh. Oh, ow! Oh no! Oh no, Joshua! No! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh, the heel to the eye! Fucking asshole! What'd you do that for? Oh! Oh! Do they not know it's a zombie apocalypse? Oh, they don't know yet. Oh! 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 Oh my! Oh. <laughs> New plan. Holy crap. 66. Alpine. Drive. Dang, dude. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah, you punch them zombies. Whoa, look at the view. Oh, wow. Look at that view. What a cool intro. Dead Island 2. That is the intro to Dead Island 2. That was brutal. Fantastic. Loved it. That really sets the tone for the game. I love it. So we seem to be waking up here in a new area. A beautiful area. Where are we? We're still bitten. How did we end up here? Oh, we're in Bel Air now. Ooh. Wow, look at how beautiful this game is. Holy crap. And it runs butter smooth. I love it. A game that looks good, runs good. No little micro stutters, no little nothing. Wow, this is so cool. So I also did want to tell you guys that you guys have a choice on the character you play. I am playing a chick named Carla, I believe is her name. And there's also Jacob, and there's a couple other characters that you can play as that have kind of different stats, different roles that they will play. Uh, I think the chick I'm playing is now is more of a melee class. She likes to be up close and personal. Um, they give you a whole stat sheet 
for the character before you choose them and stuff. So it's pretty cool that you can have like a different character as you play through the game. So there's honestly the option for maybe like multiple playthroughs with because of different play styles of the character. Let's pick up the package. Oh, it's a map. Aha. Let's see. Emma's place is on the right or on the other side of the mansion. You'll need to fight through it to get there. Okay. Oh, Alpine Drive is over here. Yep. Emma's place over here. You can place waypoints uh, on icons using A. They will appear on your compass too. Got it. Got it. Got it. Let's. Yep. I guess we'll just make our way over there. We have to kind of go around here. Maybe we're gonna, maybe we're gonna go through this mansion over here. I'm not sure. Fancy houses, all of them. Seventy Alpine Drive. So if I head through here, I'll come out next to Emma John's place. Wow. And again, the graphics of this game are phenomenal so far. Like it really is just beautiful. I mean, look at the shading on the on the shrubbery, the bushes, and everything like that. The flowers and everything looks amazing. It really does look fantastic. I would say so far this is definitely a next gen looking game. Like I don't think this is, looks bad at all, especially with the uh <laughs> the way the bodies work, like how you can kind of uh maim and and just decapitate and you can see exposed bone and muscle and everything. Need a breaker. Need a breaker. Okay, over here. Over this way. Let's try this. Wow. Ooh, even the interiors look nice, too. Holy crap. Toolkit. Oh, chopped. Gods and whiskey. Wow, the detail on the environment is phenomenal. Look at that. So you can go through the environment and loot a bunch of stuff. So this game is probably going to have some sort of crafting, it seems. I would wager, and there's like med kits, there's metal crates, protein bars and stuff. So if you've played the first one, you know that protein bars and energy drinks give you, I believe it's health. I think energy drinks might be either health or stamina. And then you can go around the map and you can collect little scrap and things like that to enhance or to create weapons. And uh, you can just kind of get funky with your weaponry. It's really, really fun. Ooh, a pipe wrench. Ooh. I will take that. Pipe yes. Wrench. Good for hitting stuff. Yeah, it is. Can I swap that out? Like, can I just pick this up and, yeah, keep that? Nice. There's my circuit breaker. Let's go put that inside the other thing and, uh, let's see. Gotcha. Ooh, block? Okay. Open the skill deck. Never get through me. Uh, let's go skills. What do we got here? Abilities, Survivor, Slayer, and Newman. So you hold left bumper to defend yourself against incoming attacks. Well-timed blocks regain your stamina and stun the zombies, leaving them open to a de devastating counterattack. Ooh, okay. Awesome. So you got little skill cards you can equip, so it kind of changes the way the game plays. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him all down. Kick. Get. 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 Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, see, just the the brutality of this game, like... Oh my gosh. The brutality in this game is incredible. I don't want to get too much into it on, on uh, this video because I don't want it to get demonetized, and I feel like it might already be kind of edging towards that, but it really is insane, the level of, of like, zombie uh, destruction, I guess you want to call it. Like... The bodies have a skin layer, a muscle layer, and a bone layer. And they have intestines, they have jaw physics, they have, like, limbs you can break. They are fully, like, humanoid people. They're not just, like, zombies that are just mindless, like, AI code. Like, they're fully humanoid, like, with hair physics and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, you can already see... Oh, <laughs> like you can just keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them and, uh, and like every time you hit them, you take off more of their clothing or their skin, muscle, bones, whatever it is. You can break limbs and expose more of them and like that. And there's tons of blood. They do not shy away from blood. It is. Wow. Look at that view. There's the Hollywood sign over there. Holy crap. This game is gorgeous. Yes, please give me more of this game. Locked. Gotta be another way in. Wow, this game is gorgeous. Look at this, man. 
All right, so that will go ahead and do it for this video. I just wanted it to be a little bit of a teaser, the introduction to the game, giving you guys a sense of what the game is like, giving you guys a sense of the graphics and the gameplay and everything like that. And uh, I know we didn't get super far into it because of the intro and everything, but that intro was amazing. And the gore, the zombies, the graphics of the game are phenomenal. So hopefully you enjoyed this look into Dead Island 2. And uh, if you guys want to see more on this game, let me know in the comments down below and let me know with a like on the video. And if you guys are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys